Alright, Cannon knows what's up when he says, What the hell? Seriously, what the hell just happened? Hello, oh, folks. It's L58, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play So We Could In. Ted can't explain right now what just happened. Thanks. You've kept a hidden rune from us that just annihilated a boss who we were having much trouble with. Alright. This must be what Commander Craze was talking about. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. This cannon doesn't really seem like he's on our side. <laughs> and that's nice. You don't need any revive uh, potions or anything like that. Which is also interesting, because you really don't get those. You get like a sacrificial jitsu, I think. That's what it's called. And you clip it onto a member, and it saves them from dying. It's like Life 3 from Final Fantasy VI, in, in essence. And you really don't have any magic that does that. There's like a revive room or something like that. But it's it's rare, and if only one character comes with it equipped, and I didn't really like the character. Anyways, it, that's interesting. Like, basically, when your character is dead, they're dead. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, at least through that battle. Okay, so... More boars. Yay. <laughs> If you notice that with the camera, when it zooms in on your enemy, uh, it's kind of showing that your character's doing a critical. I thought that was neat. Neato. Uh, I don't think it necessarily means when it zooms out it's doing a weaker attack, but, you know, this is this was like a first two, like, the whole camera zooming battle sequence I'm trying to involve you more. I mean, it, like I said, it's it's kind of hard to think about all that stuff being like revolutionary compared to other games now. But uh, yeah, it was. I really like the animation of a lot of these characters. They look really cool. Um, you know, just everything about this game I like. There isn't. There are a couple things I don't like to be nitpicky. Like like, like I said, I'm not the biggest Grammyo fan. And I've said that. I've replied to that in comments. He's kind of a, a waste of space for a while, but, you know, I like his character. He, you know, he's very loving towards Tyr. Kind of looks, you know, like his butler, but he's kind of like his Alfred. Anyways, so, we have to fight a couple easy bandits. <coughs> really don't need a strategy for these guys, just free will. Be easy. Easy breezy. You guys are hopeless. I'll take you on myself. Okay, so focus on one enemy at a time. I go with Sindo Sindonia, Sindona, Sindonai, whatever his name is. I have a <laughs> one hit. Vargas is a little harder. Uh, like I said, use the unite attack. I'm gonna do throw on the board rune and see if I can use it again. But really, that unite is good enough. It's a good unite. I don't realize why I didn't use it more. Now looking at it, because it doesn't make them unbalanced and it does a good amount of damage. So yeah, easy fight. <clears throat> you really shouldn't have trouble with that. That's what you get for defying me. Okay, Cannon, shut up. <laughs> why don't we just kill him and just say the bandits killed him? Come on, we're all in agreement. Come on, Vargas. I know you want it. I mean, we're still taking you in, but, uh... Alright, so, what's also nice is... They take us right back to the beginning. That was no editing trick. Yes! Because I didn't want to run through that again. This game's pretty understanding about dungeon crawling and having to get back uh, from a dungeon. Like, there's this one really long one. They give you a uh, escape talisman, which, uh... You know, it's like an exit potion. Allows you to escape a dungeon. They give it to you so you don't have to run back. So, it's cool. <laughs> and our entourage is huge right now because we have prisoners and cannon. <laughs> what do you mean, tax thieves? You're the tax thief. Maybe Vargas was right. Maybe he wasn't such the bad guy. 
I mean, they are bandits, but, uh, you know, maybe like Robin Hood style? I don't know. Alright, so we got a gift from Grady. Oh, sweet, 10,000 bits. It's dangerous, so I'll hold on to it. Can you're a punk. <coughs> Seriously? You just took it. Oh, well, that's not a big deal since I showed you that cup trick. Really, 10,000 bits is chunk change if you are using that. So, go back to 10. That was me that time. Alright, so sweet, we don't have to go on to another mission, not another errand, and uh, we get to go home and rest. Thank you. You can keep the 10,000 bits. Thanks for letting us rest. We've been away from home for a long time. Grammyo's going to cook something for us. Sweet, but Cannon wants Ted to come with him. But nothing much. He'll be over soon. Come along now. Oh, okay. Sure. Creepy man. <laughs> With cool Mario mustache. I guess he does kind of look like Mario. I didn't really realize that. Maybe that's uh, Konami's little nod to Mario. Him being a punk. I don't know. Alright, so, yeah. This is where you get these uh, wing boots. I mean, they are, they are pricey, but they're really good. They help uh, the speed. I might buy a few extra... I might recommend that if you're gonna do that coin trick because they are really good to get. And I guess it's kind of the developer saying, hey, <laughs> if you earn that money, might as well be able to reap the benefits. So now Cleo is gonna be much, much better to use now. Mm. Okay, so on with the game. Let's go back home. Home sweet home. Yes. Relaxation. Relaxation. Hopefully Tio gets back soon from a victory. Gets to chill with Pops again. Ted will be back soon. I mean, jeez, what could go wrong? Seriously. And Grammy up prepared some tea, my favorite. Especially since I'm sick. The stew's getting cold. Oh, hold on. And crap. <laughs> Ted is unconscious on the ground. This cannot be a good sign. Oh, adios mio. <laughs> and he's got a magic wound. Yeah, we're gonna help. Yeah, the music doesn't signify good things happening. <laughs> Alright, what happened? Attacked by thugs on the way back, but why would he have a magic wound? Well, let him explain. Because he's coming about. Ugh. Ugh. Where am I? Where are they? The Imperial Guard. Aren't they here yet? Help me, Tear. Relax, don't do it. <laughs> Will you calm down and tell us what happened? Alright. So, what happened after Cannon took him? Hurry up, William, I'm starving. Keep quiet and wait. Commander Craze is seeing Lady Windy now. Alright, Ted, follow me. Okay, okay. It's been a while, hasn't it, little man? You haven't changed a bit in 300 years. I'm envious. Oof. So Ted's over 300 years old, and so is Wendy. It looks like Wendy's evil. Either that or Ted's been evil, but Ted doesn't seem like the type that would be evil. <laughs> a cursed rune, the soul eater. It's power. So Ted has one of the 27 true runes, the soul eater. So far in the Suikoden series, we've dealt with the Soul Eater, um, the Sword and Shield Rune, True Fire, Wind, uh, or, yeah, True Fire, Lightning, Wind, and Water Runes. Um, 
what was the there was the sun rune yeah whatever I'm giving a little bit away anyways but to be sure we can't cause any problems while Master Teal is away so basically what's happening is Pawn wants to tell the guards what's going on because he doesn't want to cause trouble in Teal's name and Grammio, Cleo, and Tyr are all like no we gotta take care of him looks like Pawn's changed his mind because his fever isn't getting any better, I'm going to wake up the shopkeeper and buy some medicine. Don't worry, bro, I got it. No, wait, no, I got some. Alright, so. It won't stop raining. Yeah, well, that happens. Nasty rain, it gives me the shivers. Poor Ted. He's waking up. Well, we'll find out what happens on the next episode of Suikoden. Till then, this is L58 saying thanks for watching. Later.